सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एड्यू टैप एंड आई वेलकम यू टू दिस फाइव एम सी क्यूज डे लेक्चर सीरीज टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग योर इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द ए आर डी सेक्शन ओके सो वन शू लेट मी नो दैट यू कैन सी मी यू कैन हियर मी दैट वी कैन प्रोसीड विद योर सेशन सो आई बी वेटिंग फॉर यू गाइज टू कम एंड टू जॉइन इन हियर Okay, so so many students are here already. They are discussing. Oh, you all are discussing about uh, the results. Okay, see. Uh, first, you please let me know that you can uh, hear me, so that I can then be assured and start with the discussion. Okay, great. Good evening, everyone. so i as i can see here you all are discussing about the results yes results have been delayed and uh, let me tell you that yes we are saying that uh, result will be out soon but we do not have any idea about the exact date we cannot give you a particular date that on this day the result will be out okay so um Uh, i would just tell you guys to keep on preparing result is going to be out you should not it should not hamper your studies you should not be uh, uh, stopped by this that results are being delayed you should continue your study you are getting time to prepare well okay you can prepare more in this given time fine so uh, can we start with your session please uh, shall we start with the discussion today i'll be coming up i have come up with 10 mcqs so uh, even 5 mcqs from schemes will also be discussed so uh, great you guys can hear me can we can we start with the session please great i can see here that you guys uh, are coming back on the phase 2 we should start the preparation we should keep on our preparation going so at uh, this you know about our seminar i have told you in all the live sessions we are going to conduct the, the days tomorrow so tomorrow there will be a live uh, there will be a, fem- a free seminar in new delhi uh, uh, you can see the key speakers here and uh, yes uh, so uh, new delhi 5:30 pm 4th of july is the place uh, the uh, the place is ymca tourist hostel near knot place and on 6th of july you can meet us in chandigarh punjab university pl auditorium fine so uh, okay question one is here international research centers national research centers we have covered in our previous lecture so today we are here with international research center where is the uh, world meteorological organization located so where is it located the wmo options are switzerland norway kenya denmark or none of the above let's see if you know this answer international research centers are being discussed today okay switzerland i've got answers as one switzerland yes it is switzerland geneva is the place where wmo is headquartered great Question two: International Livestock Research Institute is located in which of the following places? So, you have to tell about ILRI, International Livestock Research Institute, Ethiopia, Philippines, Germany, Kenya, or India. Okay, Geneva is fine. Now let's see if you know this ILRI one. It is located in which of the following place? Nairobi. Then Philippines. I've got. Um, Renal is saying Kenya. Okay, four. So um, not uh, any unanimous answer. So Kenya, Nairobi is the answer. Nairobi is the place where this ILRI is located. International Livestock Research Institute. Fine. Question three is here. Asian Vegetable Research and Development Center is located in which of the following places? So, Asian Vegetable Research and Development Center: China, Singapore, Japan, Taiwan, or Mauritius. Vegetable Research and Development Center. One, 
वन विकास इज सेंग चाइना विजय सेंग सिंगापोर ओके भानु इज अगेन सेंग चाइना एशियन वेजिटेबल रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट सेंटर सी इट इज लोकेटेड इन Taiwan yes Taiwan is uh, the place where this Asian Vegetable Research Development Center is located and let me tell you uh, Taiwan is the answer keep this in mind okay uh, this is an important one Asian Vegetable Research Center headquarters of international water management institute is located in which of the following places so water management institute is in options are Sri Lanka Maldives Singapore Chile or Argentina So international water management is located in Okay let me give you this hint uh these two south american nations uh, you can remove now uh, the uh, left over three options you can come up with answer from these three one Sri Lanka Maldives or Singapore Bhanu and Chinmay are saying one that is Sri Lanka. Okay, Sri Lanka. Everyone knows this. Yes, Sri Lanka is the right answer. International Water Management Institute. Question fifth. International Center for Tropical Agriculture is located in which of the following places? See these important five questions. Uh, even if you could not answer them, keep them noted. These are very important. And you can also uh, uh, mention in the comment if any other international centers you guys are aware about. so international center for tropical agriculture i have got a few answers here so many of you are answering today amrinal um, says colombia suraj has said 3 bhanu says colombia great Yes, it is Colombia. So this tropical agriculture uh, international center is in Colombia only. That's nice. So that was about your five MCQs from uh, international research centers. And as I had promised uh, promised yesterday, uh, that in this session I'll be coming up with ten MCQs. So today now we are going to discuss five more MCQs with a solution on a particular scheme. Fine. So shall we start with your next question? So the question one from the schemes is National Bamboo Mission is a sub mission under which of the following? So the options are here: National Mission on Sustainable Agriculture, Integrated Scheme on Agriculture Cooperation, a uh, National Mission on Agri Extension and Technology, National Mission on Oil Seeds and Oil Palm, or none of the above. Okay, so Chinmay has uh, some question. Can you do live stream tomorrow seminar on YouTube? Um, I will not promise that Chinmay, but we will try to provide a video later on. I do not promise about that also. Okay. So coming to the answer, National Mission on Sustainable Agriculture. Yes, you all are right. NMSA. So National Bamboo Mission is actually a sub mission under National Mission on. Uh, sustainable agriculture it is being implemented by ministry of agri and farmers welfare actually this is the nodal ministry for this uh, and the aims of this mission are also mentioned here the bamboo mission so what is it supplement farm uh, income of farmers with focus on the development of complete value chain of bamboo a uh, bamboo sector linking growers with industry then promote holistic growth of bamboo sector increase the area under bamboo cultivation so these are the aims of this mission on uh, national bamboo mission fine next question is Restructured bamboo mission has been approved in 2018 for the implementation till which year so you have to identify the year for uh, till which this uh, bamboo mission uh, has been uh, approved years are here let's see if you know this 2020 to 21 2019 to 2020 21 to 22 22 to 23 or 24 25 
this uh, an, a re, uh, bamboo mission was actually restructured in april 2018 and uh, the approval was given for the implementation till uh, the year that you have to tell Three and two, uh, you guys are confused. Three and two, okay. Twenty nineteen, twenty or twenty one or twenty two. Twenty two is actually yes, the target year for many uh, uh, schemes we had seen. Housing for all is there. Then how uh, clean drain, uh, clean piped water. Uh, the year again is twenty twenty two. But here the bamboo mission is still twenty nineteen twenty. So correct answer would be option two. Fine. So this mission was approved in April. and it is going to be implemented till the end of 14th finance commission someone mentioned 14th finance commission you were right so uh 1920 and it is a sub mission under the national mission for sustainable agriculture this we have already covered now if you are talking about 14th finance commission please tell me if you know i am sure that you guys must be knowing who is going to head the 15th finance commission which is going to start uh, from the year 2020 onwards Bhanu Singh is saying piped water is 2024. Please confirm this once, and then you can mention in the comment, please. So I have just asked this question. Uh, do you know who is going to head the 15th Finance Commission? Okay, so I'll be giving you that as your uh, uh, homework. If you are not answering it right now, okay, great. I have answers here. Vijay Mrinal Chandan Bhanu N K Singh. Yes, you are right. N K Singh is going to head the 15th Finance Commission. coming to question 3 which of the following is not an objective of the national bamboo mission so you have to identify uh, the which is not true regarding the objectives of this mission so first one is to increase the area under bamboo plantation in non forest uh, government and private lands to supplement farm income and contribute towards the resilient to climate change resilience then to promote bamboo plantations predominantly in farmers fields uh, homesteads community lands arable wastelands and along irrigation canals water bodies etc third is to rejuvenate the underdeveloped bamboo industry in india to promote product development keeping in view market demand or do you think that none of the above is actually uh, not true so basically if you uh, choose option 5 you are saying that all these given here are the objectives of nbm or uh, you can answer with any option which you find is not the objective so you guys think that none of the above is the right answer yes it is so so the objectives you can read here the ones mentioned here the four they are uh, the objectives of nbm apart from that you can see to promote skill development capacity building and awareness generation is also there then to realign the efforts so as to reduce dependency on import of bamboo and bamboo products fine so question fourth how many states have been covered under nbm till the end of 2018 so you have to tell the states that have been covered under nbm till the end of 2018 25 15 11 17 or 21 okay so manideep has come up with the answer a uh, four sudha says 17 okay four bhano is saying 15 reena is saying 17 okay 17 sdgs we have so you think that 17 uh, states have been covered under nbm yes answer is right 17 so chinmay the option becomes a uh, fourth the right answer last question from this session which of the following states have been covered under the national bamboo mission so the earlier question was about the number of states here in this question you have to identify the states which have been covered punjab uh, odisha uh, haryana uttarakhand or do you think that odisha and uttarakhand are under the nbm 
that is option 2 and 4 again uh, answers are here Vikas and Manideep are going with the both 2 and 4 yes both these states Odisha and Uttarakhand uh, have been covered already so the scheme uh, is being implemented in the uh, the the ones given earlier were true non forest government land farmers field in states where it has social commercial and economical advantage uh, and including all these things include the bamboo rich states of northeastern region and the different states are Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Karnataka, Uttarakhand, Bihar, Jharkhand, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu and Kerala. So these are the states apart from the northeastern region states that have been covered under the National Bamboo Mission. So yes that is it. So with this we are done with your MCQs from uh, schemes related to the ARD section and also your international research centers 5 we have done that fine. So that's it from my side and uh, if you guys have any query please drop a mail at hello at edutap.co.in and you can also call us at 8146207241. So that would be it from my side. You are welcome Rinal. So wrapping up your session of the day and as I started the session with that you sh guys should not get demotivated with the result being delayed. See your preparation should not be hampered if the result is being delayed. Rather you should take it in a positive way that you are getting time. Please keep on preparing and you know that result is going to be out sooner or later. Fine. So yes fine. Uh, I'll see you soon. We'll be uh, coming up with another session tomorrow. Okay. So till that time, wishing you all a very happy learning from the entire team of EduTap. Okay. Invictus has suggested that I should take five MCQs from current plus five from schemes. Okay. I will try to consider a feedback Invictus. AFO lectures, okay, AFO lectures have also been requested. Vijay is asking about the cutoff of grade A, okay. I think, uh, uh, any other question do you guys have? Fine, I'll be done. The, uh, the last question from Vijay I am taking, he's asking about the cutoff. We are expecting the cutoff this year to be somewhere between 130 to 140, fine. So, but uh, let's see what comes so fine that would be it from my side guys see you uh, keep learning please